Well, there goes the bell for round number one. Stancilian is a fighter in the white trunks and Kenji go in blue. Both lanky fighters. Kenji Go is also pretty tall, Kenny. Yes, he is pretty tall, but uh, Stancilian does have the edge not only in height, but uh, more significantly in reach. Well, now Santillan is the boy with white trunks. He's a southpaw. And you need Santillan, Ronnie, to have distance. Correct. He likes to shoot that right jab. That sets the pace for his punches. But his favorite punch is the uppercut. And he can hit you, he can hurt you with either hand. Either the left uppercut or the right uppercut. His record is 13 wins, 10 knockouts, right? That's right. And only one draw, no defeat. And he's undefeated. But in his last fight, Ronnie, which was held in Nagoya in Japan, he was held to a split draw by Hiroshi Watanabe. In a fight where Watanabe went down once in the third round on a left uppercut, right straight combination. Well, it seems that Sancilian is just feeling his way out at the moment. He's just using the right straight and then coming in with the left, by his side. He probably is the heavier hitter of the two, very clearly, Kinito. I think so. Um, 10 knockouts in 13 wins. But, uh, well, as far as goal is concerned, he's got 7 knockouts in 9 wins. So that's a very high knockout per percentage as well. And as we mentioned, 4 of those 7 knockout wins came inside one round. Well, Rev Santillan, uh, obviously wary of uh, Kenji Go at the moment, which is Oh, that's a good right by Santillia. Everything comes off, Ronnie, from that right jab. He's a southpaw, and I'm not too sure whether Kenji Go is used to fighting a southpaw. Kenji Go comes charging and connects to the left of the side of the head, but uh, Rev Santillia and his gloves are held high up, so he's defending himself particularly well. Good defense, yes. Now, for Go, his chances hinge on pressuring Santillia. He's got to move in, crowd in and not allow Santillan the distance that he needs to be able to shoot his potent right jab. As I mentioned, that sets up everything in his offense, that right jab. Yes, Santillan, a pretty tall fighter, got a good left, strong left hand. Go, 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 go. The Kenji Go is, you know, trying to press the fight against Santillan early. Santillan is a very crafty fighter. You saw him shoot that uh, long left straight, just when Go was expecting to be hit by a right jab. Now, if he mixes up his punches and he'll confuse Kenji Go, He'll have a big, big upper hand. Well, uh, it seems to me that Santillan starting a little slowly. Is he a, normally a slow starter? Can you well, he is a slow st starter. I think he's a very cautious fighter. Not in the sense that uh, he doesn't want to be careless. Not in the sense that he's, he's too uh, cautious. But I think he's uh, a very careful fighter. He just wants to make sure that he Good meshes help. his opponent. And then he likes to make sure that he has the distance to be able to connect. Also, Ronnie, one thing about him. When he hears that 10 second warning, he really steps up his attack. There goes the end. Round number one. A good round for Rev Santillian. We'll take a break, come back in a moment. Ang bayan ng Pilipino. Katulong sa pagpapailaw ng madidilim na lansangan sa pagbibigay ng disenteng tahanan sa mga street children at maralit ang mamamayan sa pagtataguyod ng pambansang sports development, sa pagpapagawa ng mga paaralan at pagpapatupad ng mga programang pang-edukasyon. Katulong ninyo, katulong ng sambayanan. Casino Filipino. Barangay, pagkaupukan, nauwi sa pali. Ano? Ang mga babae, pambahay lang ba? Noon, noon. Ngayon, hindi na. Men and women agree is equal. May nagagawa ang lalaki na hindi nagagawa ng babae. Hoy, bakit? Kaya niyo bang mga na? Bakit ito, buntin? Ang dapat, equal opportunity. Oh, thank you, Ben. Yung iba? Oh, kala ko ba equal? Ba't gusto namin sa'yo? Number two, the bell. Rev Santillan of the Philippines defending his welterweight title against Kenji Go of Japan. Santillan the South Pole in white, Kenji Go in blue. Good first round for Rev Santillan, yes. whose manager Rex Waki Salud is at ringside. And uh, he, he's training Briggs Flores, right? That's right, yes. Santillan, he is from Haro Iloilo, based in late in Cebu, making his second defense of the Oriental Championship. You know, very curious history for Santillan. He turned pro several years ago, Ronnie, fought yeah. in a couple of four-rounders, then he reverted back to amateur. Can you do that? Yes, you can, um, so long as you were never rated in the top ten and you fought only in one or two fights. He went on to win the Philippine National Games Championship and then went back to being a pro. 
and that was when he was rediscovered by a uh, good friend Tony Aldeguer and his right hand man Sami Helioani and subsequently Rex Rocky Salud took over the management of uh, Rev Rivero Santillan. Well, he's, he's fighting a pretty sensible uh, fight so far. He's using his reach to advantage over again, Kenji Gober. Oh, he's coming in and getting a couple of punches, although much of the time, uh, Santillan uh, gets them on his glove. Well, Santillan is uh, really picking his punches. He's not rushing things. He knows his scheduled 12-round fight. And... Uh, as far as uh, Roy is concerned, he has never gone past six rounds in any fight whatsoever. Santillan, of course, has gone a distance, the 12 round distance, twice in his career. Again, watch out for the uppercut of Red Santillan. That's his Sunday punch. You know, Santillan's fight is looking a little more impressive when he fights from a distance. Yes, definitely he needs, he needs some range to be able to throw his punches. Now he's got a lot of power punches, but it's not only just the uppercut, which he uses for power, he's also got a hook. Now he's got Kenji Go a little bit in trouble here, but Go fighting back, very stout-hearted. Yeah, Go is, Go is a tough cut. You know, he's, he realizes this is a big moment for him, fighting for the Orient uh, down against Rev Santillan. Rev Santillan rated number... In the World Boxing Council, is he rated in the WBC? No, he's not yet rated, rated the in the top yet. 10 of the World Boxing Council, but he should be coming along pretty soon because there is an agreement uh, within the World Boxing Council that Oriental champions should be ranked uh, at least in the top 15. Now, if you go on to win the WBC International Championship, then you rank to the top 10. Satilian is climbing up the ladder, slowly, but surely. You watch him explode with those uppercuts. Last 10 seconds of the round. And Santillan connects with another good fight. Good left by Rev Santillan. Good fight. We'll take a break, come back in a moment. There goes the bell, round number three. OPBF World Weight title fight between Rev Santillan, the champion from the Philippines, and Kenji Go, the challenger from Japan. Oh, good right hand by Santillan. So far, so good for Rev Santillan, yes. Ronnie. I think he won the first two rounds. Yes. One thing also I like about uh, Santillan, Ronnie, is that he likes to throw combinations. He's a very disciplined fighter. When he shoots off that right jab, he usually follows it up with a left straight. That time, Go connected. Now he's coming in. Again, we've got to remind the televiewers, Bo is a hard puncher. He's a knockout puncher. And he's looking to stop uh, Red Santillan. Now they're fighting close quarters. This is not good for Santillan. Yeah, because this is exactly where Kenji Go wants Santillan to be. Yeah, Santillan fights very much better at a distance. I, he's got the range, he's got the, you know, he's got the uh, momentum. And when, when he fights from a distance, he's, he's a much better fighter. All he needs to do is to take a step back, which is what he's doing. He backpedals a little bit and then he lashes out again with that right jab. Matira Matiba is a partner. I think the way, it's, it's, the way this fight is uh, unfolding, it's the fighter who hits harder is the one who's going to win. Correct. It's power versus power. I think uh, Kenji Go is also willing to mix it up with Rev Santillan. He's the other puncher. Kenji Go, very aggressive. He, he's actually the one moving in. Yes, he's the one moving in. And he's counter punching. But Santillan is doing an excellent job in fending him off. That right jab is worth wonders for him. And of course, the combination that he uses. Oh, beautiful yeah, left. Good left by Santillan. Very good left. To the right jab. Oh, that time Kenji Go got him with a big right to the kiss. But it seems to me that Santillan is able to take the punches of, of uh, Kenji Go. Well, so far, yes. But Go's been able to sneak in some damaging punches too. That might have that left, that left hook. Might wear down Santillan. That's right. Oh, nice shot again to the face. It's that southpaw stance of Santillan. I think that's bothering Ken because he doesn't know when that left is going to come and land. Close quarter fighting. 
Okay, yeah, just needs to push him away. Push Kenji go away. Either that or take a step back. Okay, yeah, firing away with that right jab. Third man in the country, ring yeah. is David Chung of Korea. Ten seconds to go. Oh, good jab. A beautiful combination by Kenji. Oh, this is a big burst here. Late in the third oh, yeah. round. Kenji go rock and stagger. Good run for Rev Santillian. We'll take a break. Come back with more boxing action in a moment. Jimmy. number four of a fight that's scheduled for 12, the OPBF Welterweight Championship, Reb Santillian of the country is the champion in white, Kenji Go of Japan in blue. But sometimes uh, Go connects with fighters at a little low. Now, so far we've seen Reb Santillian running Go almost exclusively to the head. At that time, again, the left hand bouncing off the head of Kenji Go. Late in the third round, a burst coming from Santillian, rock staggered Kenji Go. No the fighter has been down so far. In the last 10 seconds of the round, he really came on strong. Here's a shot to the body by Red Santillan. Now going to the head once more. Santillan's defense holding up here against Kenji Go. Go continuing to be the aggressor here. Although it's Santillan is connecting the clean shot. As we mentioned earlier, the referee in this fight is the Korean, David Chung, a frequent Manila visitor. Correct. But he's done a good job. He's not had very much to do in this fight so far. Both fighters are really throwing big punches and hoping that, you know, the bigger puncher will, will ultimately prevail. Then you go, sneak to the right hand. Yes, he did. That time. Sometimes now some shots to the body. Something then gets a little careless sometimes. He gets nailed by, by Kenji Go. Santillan, his eyes focused. A little slow. Not too much hand speed to speak of. And we're talking of Rev Santillan. Yes. But he's, uh, he's got that classic right jab running. Yes, he has. And he's often on target. And again, he mixes that left straight with a right jab. But his big punch is the uppercut. Yes. And that's the punch that's really going to probably tell in this fight in the end. Again, the shot coming from Red Santillan. Kenji Go pressing the attack. He's pressing, but he's not throwing too many punches. Correct. Some shots there, both downstairs and upstairs by Santillan. Santillan. Almost like a one-sided fight here. Yes. Santillan. Oh, he's Kenji forcing Kenji Go, Kenji go to, hold. to hold. Yeah, Kenji Go I holding. think those shots to the body, body are might have taken their toll. Good hard right to the side of the body. That hurt it's the body. Kenji go. It's the body shot. The body shot. Rev Santillan picking his punches very nicely now. He's got Kenji Go in trouble. I thought Kenji Go turned away slightly earlier. Ah, that hurt. That hurt. I mean, he's pounding his body now with I, big punches. Yeah. Now he switches to the head. I think Santillan realizes that, yes, the vulnerable section of Go's body is that stomach. Look at him. He's, he's really working the body very well. Very intelligent fight by Rev Santillan. Caught six to the side of the head that time. You know, he's no wasted motion here yes. in the part of Rev That's Santillan. True. Very calculated boxer. It reminds me of some, uh, somewhat of Randy Suiko too. Yeah, Fixes because the they're both long-armed. They're both lanky. Another good round for Rev Santillan. We'll take a break. More boxing action in a moment. This sport. Well, for round number five, Reb Santillan of the Philippines, the welterweight champion of the Orient Pacific Boxing Federation, against Kenji Go of Japan, and it's very clearly Santillan uh, in control of this fight, Kinita. Well, Ronnie, sometimes you get the feeling that this fight is being played on slow motion. Both these fighters really do not uh, or cannot lay claim to be uh, to being very speedy when it comes to uh, throwing those punches. But one thing about Santillan is a very calculating fighter. He measures his punches very well. Nice shot from the inside that time by Santillan. Kenji Go. Leaning in the right to the body. Yes. He's been out box from the start. Missed uppercut there by Rev Santillan. Again, his most potent weapon is that uppercut from either hand. Watch Santillan, even as he back backpedals, he's got that right hand on the face of Kenji Go. Right. 
Santillan, like you said, waiting to throw the right, uh, the uppercut. That's his big punch. And he does backpedal a lot. We're talking of Santillan, yes, yes. which is the way to do it, because you see his opponent Kenji Go continuously moving in, so he backpedals to get the leverage to throw his punches. It's a good strategy on the part of uh, Red Santillan. Now, this fight being held in the 17,000 seat Yokohama yes. gym. You were there, weren't you, before? Yes, back in 1996 to watch Michael Jordan performing an exhibition. Oh, I thought that might have been below the belt line, but yes. Santillan got him with a shot to the face. Santillan, Santillan is really picking his punches nicely. And, uh, you know, he's waiting to throw that uppercut because that, that as you pointed out, Kinito, is his big punch. Well, so far, Kenji Go really hasn't been able to put any pace in this fight. And it's Santillan who's dictating. Santillan occasionally going to the head, but now, more often than not, going to the body. There he tries to sneak in that punch to the body of Kenji Go. Now back he kind of, in, yeah, he yeah. kind of picks with the left and then tries to wait to throw the right uppercut. Well, I thought that Red Santillan had uh, Kenji Go in trouble in dire straits in the previous round because of the sustained body attack. I don't know why Santillan doesn't not go following back up. Right, correct. to that uh, body attack. He still seems to be going to the head now. Santillan, long arms, Kenji Go attacking, but Santillan countering so well. The noise that you hear in the background is coming from the corner of Kenji Go. Right. They've been, they've been shouting right throughout this fight. Until Yang doing a great job keeping Kenji Go's attack at bay. Oh, that's that. Oh, one after Fourth the other. Punch. Kabit, kabit. Among the 50 uh, red Until Yang. Great combination puncher. Now he's showing some hand speed. Great finish there for round number five. Round six coming up in a moment. <laughs> the bell for round number six. Kenji Go in blue. Reb Santillan from the Philippines, the Orient uh, Pacific Boxing Federation welterweight champion in white. Now you wonder how much longer Kenji Go can last. He's you been know, on the receiving end of a furious assault coming from Red Santillan, both upstairs and downstairs. It's the body punches that really uh, hurt Kenji Go. I think so. And if, if uh, he's able to continue that attack, he should, he should be able to take this guy out. Again, that right jab. Very disciplined fight of Red Santillan. Oh, Kenji Go coming back with a combination of his own. Now pressing the attack. Santillan waiting, biding his time. But, you know, Kenji Go must realize that he's badly behind on point, so he yes. really must step up his attack right That's now. A good right by Santillan, left to the body by Kenji Go. Kenji Go sneaks in also, a shot, a right hand to the face of Santillan from close quarters. Now Santillan caught him with the right. Kenji Go, still right there, right in front of Red Santillan, not yeah, backing he's, down, yeah, he's not he's backing off. He's in his face all the time. Right, he's a very courageous fighter. Santillan, looking for the opening. Now Santillan beginning to go to the uppercut. Let's see whether that'll work against Kenji Go. Look the left into his face. Kenji Go. Again, this is where he is at his most dangerous from close range. Santillan. Now backs off. Here's Santillan again with the right jab. Right, yes. He uses the, the right. face of Santillan, very focused. Oh, got a look. Good left from Kenji Go that nice time. Nice combination. Nice shot. Right, left hand coming from Santillan. Oh, one after the other. Good punch. Oh, oh. A tremendous left hand. He, he, looks, he looks bad. He's, He's, in trouble. Trouble. He's in trouble. He's going. He's going. Here's Kenji Go. Oh, it's a nice shot. Kenji Go. Kenji Go. Down on his knees. Down on all fours. Series of uppercuts in the background. You saw Bruce McTavish yes. there. In his sunglasses. But oh, the courageous Kenji Go still up on his feet. Let's see what happens. David Sen Shun says the fight will go on. Santillan. Oh. He's going for Great the kill. Yes. He's in trouble. He's in That's trouble. It. It's over. They stop it. They David Shun calls the whole to the fight. Sixth round knockout victory for Red Santillan to retain his Oriental Welterweight Championship. That's Alex Vidal, a Filipino, rushing to, the, to embrace and congratulate. Rev Santillan as well as his manager Rex Waki Salud. We'll take a break and come back. Six round TKO for Rev Santillan. 
right well, all, all fight long. Red Santil Jan dictated that the tempo. Beautiful. You uppercut. know, three uppercuts in a row. Uppercut. One, One more. more. Oh, beautiful punches. Three straight uppercuts coming from Red Santil Jan. Like we said before, that was his big punch. That's his big punch. You watch it here. That set him up. That left straight. And that was over. Good decision by the referee. Uh, referee from David South Chung. Korea, David Chung. That's right. It's a great, great victory for uh, Red Santil Jan. So his record goes up to 14 wins. Still, not a single loss in his record with one draw, and he has 11 knockouts. 11 knockouts out of 14 victories, the unbeaten Oriental welterweight champion Red Santillano of Haro Iloilo, scoring a devastating knockout in the sixth round over Kenji Go of Japan. Well, we're sincerely hoping...